a very good day to all our channel life sciences finer nuances extend a very warm welcome to all this channel is hosted by dr rakesh kumar singh and myself dr rekha shrivastav of government motilal vigyan mahavidyalay bhopal it caters to the needs of all students learners educators uh, researchers and enthusiasts who wish to explore the wonderful world of life sciences we shall be updating our channel regularly with most recent updates which you will find very interesting please watch us like comment and subscribe our channel when we talk about aquaculture it involves the farming of economically important aquatic animals like fishes and other mollusks which are low cost investment and this investment is very highly profitable so it is not only of the use of learners but also those people who are interested in making some profit out of this business it also helps in creating sustainable environment by reducing reusing and recycling we may also remember that aquaculture may also pose a threat to the environment if it is not managed in a proper way especially by polluting water bodies in certain cases and of course increase in population of invasive species which are not desirable as you can see aquaculture has three interwoven aspects which are interdependent one of them is ecological that is aquaculture should be environmentally sound second is the economic aspect it should be profitable and third is the social aspect that is the community uh, should benefit from this type of culture as we all know fishes are a very important group for of aquaculture for all uh, the life existing on earth and fishes are not only an important source of food for human beings as they provide proteins pufas vitamins minerals and amino acids but they can be economically important in the sense they can provide a, a source of income for a large group of people and communities especially those living in the coastal areas as we have already seen fishes provide us with uh, very healthy fish oils and besides this we have a long list of by products which are beneficial for all of us this includes fish silage fish manure fish soap fish leather and and also certain pharmaceutical fish products which are used as medicines for extraction of fish oil fishes like herring mackerel tuna salmon etc are used and basically fish oils are of two types fish liver oil and fish body oil cod liver oil as the name implies is obtained from cods and especially from uh, the areas of atlantic and pacific oceans as you can see omega 3 is mentioned here which is very beneficial as far as health benefits are concerned besides cod liver oil is also rich in vitamin a and d and it also improves bone health besides other ailments like rheumatoid arthritis etc Cod liver oil also helps to heal the ulcers of stomach and gut and in the present context it can be mentioned here especially that they support a healthy immune system besides that 
they are also helpful in preventing respiratory illnesses and lowering blood pre pressure, lowering triglycerides in blood, etc. Shark liver oil is prepared from the liver of shark species, primarily Tenophorus squamosus, and they have been long used by Scandinavian folks as medicine. Their beneficial effects are mainly due to the presence of alkyl glycerol, AKG, squalene, and omega-3, that is polyunsaturated fatty acids. Besides this, shark liver, uh, liver oil is also attributed towards cancer fighting potential, which is a very important aspect of shark liver oil. Recently, researchers have shown that squalene may pr protect chemically induced skin, colon, and lung cancer, which is a very beneficial effect of uh, the liver oil. Besides this, squalene is also believed to reduce inflammation caused by anti-cancer drugs. And shark liver oil is also known to enhance immunity. Apart from the livers, oil is also extracted from the body of certain fishes. And this fish body oil is, is also known to support uh, heart health. It is also uh, helpful in pregnancy and early life. It helps to reduce inflammation. Besides this, it also helps in treating certain mental disorders. You will be surprised to know that fish soaps are also prepared. And uh, for this, stearin, which is a chemical and it is a triglyceride, is used. Uh, and it is used in combination with glycerin. And the special odor of fish is removed during the preparation of soap. So you can be relaxed that it will have a very special uh, smell, which will be very ple pleasant for all. Besides fish eating, fishes are also used for preparing fish flour, which is something used by the uh, by various poultry as food. And this fish meal is you normally prepared by cooking, pressing, drying, and milling fresh raw fish, or sometimes its trimmings. You will be surprised to know that nearly about one third of the world catch fishes is used for the production of fish meal and the fishes from which fish meal is obtained are mainly cod, carp, halibut, sardines, etc. Something special about chemical composition of fish meal is that it contains minerals 10 to 20 percent and also vitamins a b d k and e sometimes fish roe and fish caviar are mistakenly taken as one but let me tell you that these two are very much different because fish roe is prepared from ripe internal egg masses in the ovaries of various fishes which are released and this is highly used as appetizer and it contains the essential amino acids in, addi in addition to vitamin B, C and D whereas fish caviar is as you all know is a culinary delicacy and it is made of salted cured eggs of a specific species of sturgeon belonging to Acipenseridae. You will also be surprised to know that even shark fins are used as food and are very popular in China and Philippines as they are cut near the root and are washed in seawater, dusted with a mixture of wood ashes and lime and dried in the sun. Isaac glass is a collagen which is produced from the inner 
part of the air bladder of certain fishes like catfishes and also perches and Indian salmon. Earlier, Isinglass was a substitute for gelatin, but now it is widely used for the clarification of wines, beer and vinegar. Russian Isinglass is supposed to be the best and it, it acts as an emulsifier. Its flocculation capability helps in cleaning beverages. Fish silage is a liquid product made from the whole body of the fish or parts of the fishes and it is a product of enzymatic hydrolysis. In fact, fish silage and hydrolysate meals, both of these are results of enzymatic hydrolysis and these are used as meals for various animal groups. Fish silage and hydrolysates both contain a large amount of water that is nearly 65 percent hence they cannot be packaged in the same condition without the water being removed and and the uh, solution being dried and concentrated the entire fish is very very important even in the case of abundant supply of fishes, when they are brought to the shore in a spoiled condition and they are unfit for human consumption, they are kept for drying and later on used as fish manure. Fish guano is an important nutrient which is very essential for plant growth and it is prepared from sardines which are landed in abundance on the shore and later on from their extraction the solid matter which which is left it forms the fish guano a very interesting fact is that certain silvery material which is iridescent material which is found in the epidermal layers of the skin and it is a guanine content is used for shining material the shining of solid beads which you see is a result of the pearl essence which is obtained from fishes another important byproduct of fishes is fish glue which is considered to be a very good adhesive it is obtained from trimmings of bones and skin of fishes and of course fish glue is also used for uh, the gluing of wood papers cardboard etc and it is also used for creative uh, purposes like creating something in furniture or other woodwork or in other cases because it is a reversible reaction a very good quality of leather is also obtained from uh, the skin of fishes and let me tell you to all those animal lovers who are considered about the safety that those fishes are used which are not endangered and they are not utilized otherwise as food use of skin of fishes is very common in cultures of many fish fishing communities and the shark skin is found to be very durable and is used for the manufactures of shoes handbags etc one of the most useful of various forms of discarded waste is fish gut that is the stomach the intestine the guts are preserved uh, mostly by the use of formaldehyde and the guts of most fishes contain 1 to 5 percent collagen and they are used to make sutures which are used as absorbable surgical sutures in case of operations and which are helpful later on as they get absorbed in the skin. Here you can see how the sutures are made, the method for the manufacture of these sutures which involves extraction of the gut from fresh or live fish. 
Fishes have a very important byproduct that is the pharmaceutical byproducts. And these are biologically active compounds which are used for the development of pharmaceutical and alternative medicines. Some important species of fishes which are used for the extraction of such products include Chana, Punteus, Angula, Labio, Xenentodon, and Notopteris. Fishes also provide raw materials for the manufacture of insulin, which is obtained from the pancreas of fishes like tuna and cod fishes. Besides this, shark pancreas are also rich in insulin. Lastly, we come to the conclusion that fishes are one of the most important group of vertebrates to human beings. They provide not only a rich source of food but also they are a source of byproducts which are of great commercial value like fish meal fish oil etc and one of the most important aspect is the pharmaceutical byproducts which help in curing various ailments and especially the fish insulin which is obtained from the fishes so think optimistic think fishing well, this brings to an end the topic of the day and the finer nuances related to it. I'm sure you must have liked it. And if you do have any queries, you're most welcome. Please do contact us. And of course, you can always uh, correspond with us. You can correspond with us on our email ID life sciences dot final nuances at gmail dot com